The Plateau State where Operation Safe Haven has handed over several seized arms to the National Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons in Jos. Commander of Operation Safe Haven, Major General Abdul Salam Abubakar, while displaying the seized weapons, said the SDF personnel have sworn to defend the country and protect the lives and property of citizens devoid of any sentiment. Punam Joshua has more. This large catch of arms seized by the operatives of the Operation Safe Heaven is being handed over to the national representative of the Center for the Control of Small Arms and Light Weapons. Communities in Plato State are still under attack, with over 600 people having been killed in the state from April of this year to death. The reoccurring situation has pushed the men of Operation Safe Heaven into action. 14 AK-47 rifles, one GS rifle, eight locally fabricated AK-47 rifles, one English pistol, 21 locally fabricated pistols, one RPG-7 tube, 1,522 rounds of ammunition, and other weapons illegally owned by some people were seized and are being handed over to the appropriate agency. The combined effect of our efforts have led to the neutralization of several bandits, arrest of suspects, recovery of weapons, as well as the capture of gun runners and prosecution of some of those culpable in fanning the embers of crisis in our joint area of operations. The representative of the National Center for the Control of Light Arms and Small Weapons applauds the commander of Operation Safe Haven for this achievement. It is the desire of the federal government to see that all illicit small arms and light weapons are recovered from the public and are, are kept in the custody where we can account for them and then other strategic decisions will be taken on what to do with these illicit weapons. The Commander of Operation Safe Heaven urges operatives of the Special Task Force to increase the tempo in the fight against insecurity bedeviling some parts of the state. Punam Joshua, TVC News, Joss.